Hey guys, what's going on? I'm super, super excited. It's a few days late, so, um, you know, I've been meaning to put this video up because I'm the type of person that, you know, before I make a move um, or decide to do a certification, I go on YouTube, go on Google, do searches to, to hear other people's experiences and opinions on a certain cert. Um, I went on YouTube and I didn't really see too many people talking about um, the GCIA um or whatever so um i wanted to kind of give my review on the actual certification as you can see here i passed with a 79 passing is a 68 there are going to be people that you know gloat and be like oh i got a 95 a 99 i got a hundred percent i don't care about none of that passing is passing hey man you know i'm not trying to gloat or boast i'm just trying to you know pass information so I can help the next person um, because once you have the cert they're not going to be like you know when you interview for physicians they're not going to be like oh you have a you what what percentage point did you get on it they're not going to say that they're just going to be like oh you have it oh, okay so um, yeah so I wanted to point that out um, another thing like I said this this cert is for you know people who are in socks who work with a lot of intrusion detection systems like Zeke or Bro um, and uh, a Snort um, or Firepower, or whatever, and TCP Dump and T Shark, stuff like that, Wireshark. Um, if you work with those tools a lot, this is the course that you should be, uh, that you should start from, in my opinion. Even though I'm in the incident handler, handler role, it's good to have the foundation of how protocols and things work. Because if you do, then um, um, then you know you can look at what's normal and what's abnormal, and that's what I wanted to make sure that I focused on. Um, yeah, so you know everybody was saying, oh, you should get the GCIH, but um, I was and I do plan to get the GCIH, but I wanted to start from the GCIA, um, and a lot of my my friends or colleagues that I know that have both the GCIA and H, they said that the A is definitely harder. And I can definitely agree that it is not an easy exam. It is it is very challenging. Um, the approach that they take is the ground up, like knowing how the protocols work and how they work and tie together. And and the way that they teach it. Um, they want to make sure that you understand how the protocol works. Not that, hey, that you know that eight bits equals one byte. No, but they want to want to know that you know how the protocol works in a practical sense. So they test you like that. Um, so things won't like be definition based. It's more practical. Hey, um, this this company called you to do an assessment and then you you saw this tri type of traffic what does that traffic mean you know what i mean and it'll be very like practical um and you have to kind of think about um hey like what you have to put pieces together so it's not going to be the like <laughs> like this is the answer like it's not going to like pop out at you like a definition answer would it's things that you have to think about and fully assess um, but anyway like I said it was a really good exam the most difficult exam that I've taken so far I have you know a few other certs outside of SANS but it's definitely the most difficult that I've taken so far and um, a few other things that I wanted to mention like for those people who, who are studying right now take the practice exams those are like the most accurate depiction of what the exam is going to look like, even though I feel like the practice exams were a little bit easier than my exam, but it still prepped me uh, very well for the actual exam of what to expect as far as the questions and to also pace myself for the four hours of the exam. When you first start the exam, it seems like you have so much time. But then when you start going through and start looking up answers and, you know, thinking about the question, what it is they're asking for and the different options and the process of elimination. By the time you do that for 95 questions, time is going to be flying by. Trust me. 
Um, so those practice exams are really good for that. They're also good for the VMs. Um, the VMs, because it's not just like a one, a lot of times it's not just like a one command, get the answer. It's like multiple steps you have to do to get the answer. And some of those things require you looking up multiple things. Um, so, you know, you have to make sure you allot for that. And one thing I didn't like that SANS does, maybe it's on purpose, I don't know, is that they save the VM questions for last. They don't allow you to do the VMs first, especially that the VMs are um, weighted more than the ABCD questions, um, the ones that don't have a VM, the ones that aren't simulation. They're weighted more, but yet they don't allow you to work on them until the very end of the exam. I don't really like that because um, let's say if you get if it takes you a long time to get through the ni first 95 questions, then you're going to have to rush through the VM questions and which could potentially uh, get you the wrong answer and which will potentially fail you because um, from what I was told, I was I forgot who told me this, but they said if you fail the majority of the v VM questions, then pretty much you fail the exam. That's how heavily they're weighted. Um, so so, yeah, so that's another thing. Um, this one is cliche, you know, create an index. Um, I didn't really have that much that great of an index. Some people's index are like 30 pages. I didn't need to do that. I just put core concepts or core things in it in my index to kind of help me when mm, I forgot about this is it this or that because some things get confusing in terms of you know like the uh, what fields and multipliers and things like that so some some of those things I put within the index but in terms of indexing all five books or all six books I did not do that um uh, but to each his own, if you feel like you need to do it and be that granular, go ahead. But I'm just saying, don't spend too much time um, looking up answers because trust me, you will like waste all of your time doing that. If you if you, um, you know, do that at the end of the day, like if a question is making me waste like one or two minutes and I can't find the answer within that time, I usually just skip it the, and then come back to it at the end. Um, SANS allows you to skip 15 questions. Even on my exam, I didn't skip 15. I probably skipped maybe like seven. I came back to them and then did the best that I could with them. Um, what else? I think, uh, uh, oh yeah, the, the labs. When doing the training, if I, I would say do the labs, focus on the labs that they give you, the workbooks, know those things in and out because especially the vms a lot of stuff come from there um you know a lot of uh you know things that you learn from there are found are the things that a lot of the questions derive from so if you know how to do all the labs and you know the core concepts of what the labs teach you 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 will pretty much be good um for especially for the vm section the simulation section but also um, you know, cause some of, some of the, the 95 question, even though it's ABCD, sometimes they'll put a, a screenshot in front of you of like a TCP dump, um, output, you know, and they'll tell you, they'll, they'll say, Hey, what is this TCP dump output telling you? And again, if you understand the concept of what that, of what TCP dump outputs look like and what it is that they're doing and things like that, then you'll get the answer really quickly um um but uh but yeah uh i think that's pretty much it those are the things i wanted to touch on that's my review of the gcia it was a really good exam a really good concept a lot of things that even though i've been in cyber for like seven years or whatever there were a lot of things that um i saw but i didn't understand i didn't know why it was happening or what it meant but now this brought a lot of clarity clarity to uh what it is that i do also it um it it it, it taught me you know some new tricks some and it, it brought some new tools like for example i i never used scapey um 
you know, but now I, uh, and for those who don't know what Scapey is, but it's basically a packet crafting tool, but it's a really useful tool, especially if you want to test things like snort signatures, um, to see if they actually work. You can, um, craft packets and have those packets sent to through the sensor so that you can see if, um, if, uh, if the alert that you wrote works. So this, like I said, this, 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 uh, course is unprecedented. I highly recommend it to those people who are new in, um, cyber or some people that have been in cyber for a while, but you know, are, we're like, yo, I, there are certain things that I see that I don't really understand, but I want to understand it from a technical standpoint and to kind of build yourself technically. Um, I think this is a good starting point before you start going to more advanced certs like, um, GCIH and, you know, penetration testing ones or more on the defensive side, like Graham, like uh, reverse engineering and, um, Gmon and other sans certs like that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I really enjoyed the course. I really enjoyed the exam. Glad it's over. Um, moving on to GCIH next. I hope this helped. If it was informative to you, if you liked it, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, as I continue to get more certs, especially if I don't see much on it on YouTube, I'm definitely going to, you know, post my review on it and see what it is that, uh, uh, what, what I can do to, to help other people who are considering getting this cert. Um, all right, take it easy, guys.